Yeah, let's talk about verklempt. Now, I want to give you a reminder what we're doing. Remember, it's about sex again. If you don't understand sex, then think about procreation of the species. Make sure that there's other humans coming next. And the seven chakras, I'm not going to argue if there's seven or more. I'm just going to say seven because some we have to talk about something. Because it's irrelevant. It's just an indicator, a pointer. In the chakras, the number one is the root, which is, you know, procreation. So sex is important because without that, there is no other human being. No matter how much you are spiritual, how much you think, without sex, there is going to be no more human being. So the race will be extinguished, hence, hence it's important. But we don't have only one. So rape is only the think and one, the think with the dicks. Or with the dickness, which also women sometimes do. I'm just going to be an asshole. So they missed out on the other ones that don't have heart, they don't have brains, all that. You don't need to learn about it, but you do have to learn about it. How many ways of seeing one thing? Seven, isn't that enough? Maybe we have 33 chakras, but who gives it? Anything I ever do is for you. There's nothing enhances myself. Anybody who ever goes on video, you can see they're like self-centered, egotistical, narcissistic, dumb fucks. All of them, zero. All of them. Every single person, even if it's all one person who just it plays them all, they're all narcissistic assholes. And all they ever do is abuse the people who go there. I don't know if there's anybody going there or if it's just staged as well. But if it's not on that, then it's on the other apps. It's just the same. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe where I am, it's nobody else, just my family pretending they're people. But in the other apps, it's just that. They're narcissistic, egotistical, dumb fucks. They got to get a high out of it by having followers. Which means they are typers, type an emoticon, type a letter, type a yes, click a button, bop, bop. There is nothing going on. There's no human interaction. They're superficial. They are fucks. They are shits. Because no one in their sane mind, that's like half Spanish right now, nobody in Susano Juicio, nobody who has a little bit of a judgment in their head would actually go for that so much bullshit. They would not waste one moment of their time doing that. The situation with is that the earth is changing and has been and is changing more and more and it's very fast and rapidly and what you have to do is you cannot just bang. You have to actually become a human being, a person, a mensch, someone who is not narcissistic, someone who is not selfish, someone who is not taking and stealing from others, someone who is not being violent, someone who is not aggressive, someone who is a good person. A good person needs to take care of the other person every time. As a race, we need to take care of each other. That means we have to be, oh, what I have seen saying for a long time, we have to look, look, pay attention, be careful, gentle, be gentle. You, you think be gentle is, oh, I'm going to follow the instructions. Someone in my little ear tells me what to do and never to look at me while you interact with me. This is precisely the point. That's not gentle. That's being stupid. Okay, so now you were not dressed the, the color, I don't know, vomit green. Now you were dressed the color red. Oh, that's her color. Now I'm cool. So meaning your set of instructions were not that harsh. So I barely made it, but I survived this one. So my life without needing to be with other people. I would be excited every morning to get up and have a nice day ahead. In this life, I'm scared every day. I used to loathe to go anywhere, but I have to food, right? And I'm grateful because I'm not that cold sitting inside, although it's freezing cold. The matter of trust. See, last year, in this time of the year, the air conditioning is super cold there. It's like 68, 67, instead of 70, 72. And it's counterproductive because eventually it gets warm inside. So people come from outside, let's get warm. But now the indicator said outside it's so cold, it has to be cold here. So we're already in 68 degrees. Now we have to achieve 67 degrees inside, the, the computer says, the thermal. So in order to achieve 67 degrees, I have to pull it down to 62. So you sit in there and it's freezing cold and it's happening like almost every day. 
in order to achieve the degrees, I have to go down, push the, you know, an extra cool heat wave out. So we're sitting there and it's freezing cold inside the store. And it goes by waves, right? The moment of, of... So last year, since she always heard me, I was convinced that she did that on purpose, that she was sitting there and putting that on. I was convinced that it was she who did that only to bug me. Because I felt like I was just about to get pneumonia. This she understood it wasn't, but it doesn't matter. But that's trust. If someone hurts you all the time, how can you possibly start trusting that person that this time it's not she who does that horrible thing? So how can you have a relationship without trust? You can't. So how can you have any relationship if you're not nice? Dishonest or hiding? How many marriages people... Okay, maybe they didn't do horrible things, but they were hiding. And you feel that and you notice that. So people are not comfortable anymore. So they go with someone where they think it's going to be better. And marriages fall apart and children grow up without parents or one of them. It comes down to that you have to pay attention to the other person, but also you have to pay attention to yourself either way. You have to give you 100% every day. And that means if you have achieved the nose a little bit of yourself, you have to give that 100% of that little bit. But you cannot settle and settle and settle around and expect someone else to pick it up for you. And that's what I have been doing in my family for you every day. Picking up your crumbs because you don't want to do it. You don't want to look. And that's the thing. Now I can tell you the rules. And now I see, oh yeah, now you're crawling. Oh yeah, I'm going to do it clean. Now we're going to do good. But it's still not working because at the end you don't care. So we can tell you keep it all nice like the soldiers in the military always did. But tomorrow... I turn around and you're going to stab each other because you didn't care and you all didn't care. So you were all angry and all upset. I don't know what else I have to say about this. When you look, you can never come too close to a person because you will figure how much is bad and how much is good. And why would you want to come too close to a person if you're honest with yourself? You don't want to. Because too close, you see, what you're afraid is that you overstep your boundaries. But you cannot overstep your boundaries. Like where my space begins and yours actually ends. Where we don't share anymore. When you're looking and you cannot overstep them. It's only when you're lazy, you don't want to look. That you might probably get too far. Because like I just, then you become a little whiny baby. I'm sorry, I'm too fast right now. Oh, let mommy take care of it. That's when you can maybe overstep the limit. And you know it, you know it. And that's all I've lately been saying. But I don't even know if it's any use to say it. I spend so much attention all the time. And that's what it takes to perceive and, and, and when you are in a loving relationship, what it takes uh, depends, you know, I mean, depends on which level you are in your, in your brain development. Maybe you have 10 brain cells and we have gazillions or maybe you have 100. So it's not much to be expected and that's fine, but it's like stupid people sometimes can be with stupid people as long as they do their job right. I think my, my, my Lucia, she had a pretty decent existence and I think her limits was like 10. But she did 10 percent, 100% of her 10. So I was happy, she was happy, and her children ate and had education. And that's all what mattered to her. And she was smart enough to go with the next dummy, like her husband once. So I need to have all these very complicated mental structures because maybe I feel I can survive when I look into those things, or maybe because that's what he needs from me. So if he's for me, I'm happy to give it. All that, no matter what. Because maybe he wants that, he needs that. Or maybe I, you see, that's the point. Can you, if I need gazillions and you have only 100 going for it, which is better than 10, can you give me that? So why would you ever overstep your boundaries with me? Unless you're lazy shit. Oh my God, you didn't like that shit, right? You thought you were cute. Well, you can. I 
In other words, when you're honest, you can't, this doesn't happen. It's always going to be in good. So f figure, but don't, don't, don't play theater play to me. But the most are so much, so shit. They just, they do it because they're shit. That's why they do the theater thing. So we're talking about verklemmt, right? So verklemmt means, it's a German word. I just looked it up, but I couldn't find the translation. Because it means stuck. But verklemmt is actually a sexual thing. That means when you're not, when you're not, when you're inhibited, inhibited, that's a good word. Thank you very much. Someone gave it to me in my head. You're inhibited to express yourself fully. And that is always, the word verklemmt means it's a sexual. And it's weird because people say, oh, that's so bad. But on the other hand, they all are aware. And I think everyone grew up and I looked into that subject ever since I was a teen. For myself, of course, where else? <laughs> but unless I looked up a course for myself, first is always myself. I just check back on stuff because there was a time where you're supposed not to be verklemmt, you inhibited, you should be disinhibited. You had to had you should be free, and then my stepmother she was very presumptuous about she being so disinhibited, but she wasn't really. But then again, who am I to say? But it was important for me to look. Am I? Or am I not? Am I, uh, actually, is she really that free? Am I really that free? See, why is it? Now here's the solution. Here it is for everyone. Why is it so? <laughs> we talk about sex. <laughs> it's because someone said it's forbidden, I and mean, when it's forbidden. We are not agreeing that doing it out loud. But it's a, it's, it's a double helix here, I have to say. A double helix. Because there's nothing wrong doing it. Talking about sex. Because God doesn't forbid you. So you are thinking it's forbidden. So you think, I shouldn't do it. And then you kind of want to do it. And you don't do it. And then you feel guilty and before God. Because you know that you're a little... Stuckness is actually against your very own nature. So you're like tied up with both hands, one on the side of the society, which told you, ah, oh, don't do it, and now do it, but you can't, but you're still not with it. And on the other, where God says, and you are in the middle and don't know how to handle yourself. And I give you that that's the solution of that, the synthesis of, you know, whatever words I want to put to that, there it is. So how do you resolve the issue, the problem? scientifically, by working on yourself to become an honest person, to be able to approach someone honestly, approach someone honestly. That means go away if you don't like that person, if you have disdain, or be nice when you feel nice is in order for you. Be honest. When you're honest, you're going to feel great about yourself because God loves you then as much. It's easier to love someone who's like honest and you will love yourself because then in God you notice I'm doing the right thing. The flowers grow with the rain and I grow with the emotion and be nice with someone else. You feel better about yourself, honest. And then in that honesty, you can start feeling eventually that you can address this situation with talking or not talking. I mean, I don't really want to talk about sex, what's there to say? And engage with someone else being honest. Otherwise, you're just going to be a fuck. And that doesn't really work for anybody, not for you either.